So on the back of a lot of modern radios, I'm looking at the TS990, because that's what I've got. And at the bottom right in mine, I've got a DVI output. The reason they don't put HDMI in is that it's a cost for the license fee, whatever else. But, I mean, it's very easy. If you've got a spare monitor, you can plug it in. And on mine, I get a copy, basically, of this screen on the front. But I wanted a program to just bring it on my desk. And how do you do that? So you'll, ne you'll need an HDMI capture card, right, and a piece of software. Because I keep getting people saying, how when you're live streaming, Callum, how do you get your waterfall on the screen? So I'll fire it up and let you see it. I use a program and it's on my website. It's on my personal website. If you just do M0 MCX cam desk, there's a download. This is unsupported software these days. All right. He got fed up with the guy that uh, did it. I happen to have a copy of it and I published it here and it's been on here for about 10 years. It works with all NVIDIA cards. I know that because it works on everything I've got, but Tom ran this program once and he said it wouldn't work. So maybe he's got an old machine or something, but it even works on Windows 11 cam desk. I'll show you what it looks like. You can download it, it runs really quickly and it, what you want to select a device. Well, mine is the USB capture. And I'll show you the capture card I've got. It's quite an expensive one, but there's a reason for it. And there is my display. And you can right click this, click the preferences, and you can resize. It's not scalable that way, but you can move it around any, any, any how you want. You know, 900 by 600. You can have any size you like. Now, what I do is I go to preferences and I unpin it. I actually have it 640 by 444. It works perfectly for me when the when I've got all my screen up and I hide it behind it's the control panel in software for my TS 990 which I haven't got here because right now I am remote controlling everything so that's how I get it there now I fully appreciate if you've got like a flex and other systems where you've got software that does it all for you that's fine and I'm also completely aware if you've got a 990 with an Ethernet port you can get a similar output across the Ethernet. But there's plenty of new radios now that have just got this DVI out. Well, what do you do with it? So what capture card to get? Now, my output is a bit odd. I will try and find it. Advanced menu. Here we are. It'll be under here. Oh, yeah. So under advanced, on my system anyway, you can either have 848 by 480, or and I think there's 800 by 600. Some of the capture cards I've seen, and let's just fire one up and we'll have a look. Just make sure you've got, it actually performs the right resolution. Now, if you've got 1080p by, you know, 1920 by 1080, then you can get a really cheap HDMI capture USB thing, all right? I mean, there's one here for 14 pounds. Right, but that will only capture 1080p. Just beware of that. I've got a weird one. So I went out years ago and I bought, I think for my Christmas or something, a Magewell to make sure that my 800 by 600 or whatever it is actually captured it because Magewell do all the different resolutions. I remember writing to them. But of course, in the modern day, if it doesn't work, you can send it back if you bought it from Amazon. All right, so that's the good news. A couple of other tricks you can do it. You can double click it and it will go full screen. All right, if you if you want it. But the nice thing is you can just move it around. You move it onto another monitor or whatever. So there we are. Oh, if you hold too long with the mouse, you get the preferences thing pop up, which sometimes annoys me, but whatever else. It'll do other things. It'll record your screen or whatever else. But I just use it. I unpin it from here so I can hide it behind things. And then... Uh, world's your oyster so that's a little tip if you've got a birthday coming up maybe you want to get a little dongle you know for on your list you'll need obviously an hdmi to dvi converter plug straight into the capture card into usb run cam desk if you've got a spare monitor you can put a couple of things you could put a gray line you can put your waterfall whatever you want all right that little tip from today enjoy your radios DVI outputs, HDMI and all that. It's just more fun for your hobby on a rainy day, isn't it? I will give you a salute, farewell. I will see you next time. Bye for now.